Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I wanted to say a few things before I get started with this video. First of all, thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. It means so much to me and I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I, <laughs> I really am surprised that I reached this so quickly and I just wanted to let you guys know that I think that you're all amazing and I'm so, so grateful. And um, today I'm just going to be doing the main story quest that just got released. And if you're wondering why I'm riding Raven, it's because I maxed Peter. And I was going to ride Storm, my starter horse, but I didn't want to ride him in case um, we got character XP. I think this person's trying to talk to me. I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to do this little main story quest with you guys and yeah also if you're my microphone i've gotten a few comments about it like it's echoey and i'm really sorry about that um there's not anything i can do to fix it i have tried putting it closer to my face and that seems to help me but other than that there's really nothing i can do um so i'm sorry if it's not very good audio quality um but i'm just gonna get on with the video so I'm just going to be reading out this story quest to you guys. And this is um, going to have spoilers in it, so spoiler warning right here. I'm glad you're here, Kaylee. I don't suppose I could bum a ride off you and Raven. Uh, yeah, that's five character XP, though, so that's kind of low for story quest. Alex texted that she and Anne are training at the orchard down by the fire road. Mr. Moreland said that I could take the time off, but there aren't any horses free. Maybe we could ride double? Yeah, let's just let her ride. Of course, Maya. Thanks, Kaylee. Truth be told, I've been hoping I could ride Raven for a while now. Yeehaw, the Soul, Riding, Soul Rider Cheering Committee is on its way. Okay, let's do that. So, um, since they're at, like, the Starshine Ranch area, um, it's honestly kind of far away, so I'm just going to trailer there. Um, because <laughs> I don't really want to run all of that way. So, there we go, Starshine Ranch. And I have also been saving up my shillings. I've gotten a lot more shillings because I've been training um, my horses. I've been, I trained Peter, and I'm training Raven currently. He's my, like, next horse that is in training. And I've also been considering changing Raven's mane. I like this mane, but I've considered, like, changing it to the shorter mane. Um, but I'm not sure. Both of them are cute, but the shorter mane gives him a fuller forelock, which I like. Because his forelock right now kind of looks like a spider's blade on his face. <laughs> Which, I don't mind it, but, you know, maybe I would change. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited for these story quests, so hopefully they give um, a decent amount of XP. Because I would like to be able to get closer to level 21. Because right now, Maya, you made it. Thanks to Kaylee and Raven. Hope we're not too late to watch you train. Nah, you're just in time. Also, I, like... The new horse names came out. You can choose to just have one name now. but So I could like change his name to just be Raven instead of Ravenfeather. But I'm not going to do that just because there's no... Like that would cost so many star coins if I changed all my horses' names to being the nickname that I picked for them that wasn't an option as just a name when I bought them. That would take so many star coins. The only horse I'm going to do it to is Storm. But I'm going to wait until I have like saved up more star coins to do it. Um, I'm just going to change his name to be just you know, normal Storm. Because back when I changed his name to Thunderbolt, um, Storm was not an option just to have just the name Storm. Uh, but now it is, so I might change, I'm might i going to change it eventually, but I want to save up my star points. Hey Kaylee, thanks for giving Maya a lift. We're about to start training Linda. Had an, we're about to start training. Linda had an idea of how to mix things up. I hope it doesn't involve cosplay again. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. So, check my character XP. Just, I think Linda's about to explain the scenario if you want to join in. Yeah, five character XP. I mean, they could have made that higher than five shillings, but I'll do it anyway. You know. Okay, one more time from the top. In this scenario, the trees are runestones holding together the fabric of reality. The apples are explosions placed by are explosives placed by dark core. Alex, you have to use your power to zap the explosive devices, and Anne, it's up to you to gather the explosives when they fall and bring them back to the bomb disposal unit. That would be me. You are a unit all right, Meteor. I absolutely am. 
picking up apples. This is a waste of time. I know this is difficult, Anne. You were the most gifted of all. To lose your soul force like you did, it's beyond awful. But you're still the champion of the Sun Circle. We still have to work as a team. It's fine. Everything, everything's fine. In fact, why don't we make this interesting, Kaylee? We can race to pick up the app to pick up the zapples or bombs. Oh, it's juice. Are you sure you want the extra pressure, Anne? Don't even, Kaylee. I'm not some hot house flower for you to handle with kid gloves. Let's go. All right, let me just get into character. Soul Riders, the Spy Masters Network has discovered a crisis in the making. Dark Horrors place explosive devices on these runestones. Unless we move them in time, the fabric of reality can be irrevocably, irrevocably, I don't know that, irrevocably torn apart. All of Burgro can be swallowed up by Pandoric energy. Failure is not an option. This is not a drill. It's a drill. I'm so confused. Alex, will you take point? Anne and Kaylee, collect the volatile explosives and bring them back here for immediate disposal. Okay, now we have everything covered. We can jump into action. Hopefully I don't fail this, because I'm not really understanding, honestly, um, what we're doing. How wonderful you can join in the training, Kaylee. Soul Riders and Soul Horses ride out. Okay, yeah, because 50 horse XP. That's why I didn't want to use a max horse. Because even if it's only a little, it's still some. Okay. So she's going to get the apple using your powers. I love that horse, though. That is the chestnut English thoroughbred with a white mane. And then it's short. Yes, let's race. Oh, okay, you have to click them to pick them up, but... Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, okay. It wasn't letting me be my horse, you know. We love that. Okay. Yep. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I've got to try again because I didn't collect enough apples because um, it stuck my horse and I didn't know that you had to click them. Okay. So that's just a tip, you know, if you're doing this. You have to click them, and be careful about the trees, because they will get your horse stuck. We have to watch this little clip again of Alex just using her powers to electrify the apples. I'm going to follow Anne's route, because Anne is, seems to get them fast. Um, come on, come on. Oh gosh, she's gonna. She doesn't beat me. I mean, I don't think she would, but she did before. So let's just. Um, excuse me. There we go. Wasn't letting me click them. This is gonna be a close call between Anne and I. Oh, Anne's winning. Okay, let's just try this again because I keep failing. This is hard. If I was on a max horse that was happy, that would be definitely a lot easier, or just a happy horse in general. But here I am with my sad horse. I did take care of him yesterday, and I'm going to take care of him today. I try to like take care of the horse I'm training. But um, yeah, that's the thing. Come on, come on. Let me go, let me go. Okay, so... Click that one, click that one, click that one, that one. Slow down approaching them, that way you can get them more easily. Click that one, that one, that one, and that one. This one, yes. Hello? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. What's today's horse called? I can't keep up. Blondie, like in the old cowboy movies, and we were terrible. Hey, sunshine, don't beat yourself up. Soul riding is a team sport. When one of us wins, we all win. Can't we just enjoy this victory? Sweet, sweet victory apples. Uh, I think I made Anne sad by winning, but when I lost, like, nothing happened. Oh, we have a little whole concord. 
Congratulations, you were the better rider. Wait, can we talk for a minute? Yeah, let's talk. Something feels off. The Soul Riders used to have a clear mission. We did our job, we saved the day, but now we hang out, we train, and we wait. What are we even waiting for? It feels pointless if we're constantly waiting for something to go up in flames and then scramble to put it out. It's as if there's no end in sight to our duties as Soul Riders. I agree with you, it's pointless. <laughs> I feel like someone else around here does. Sometimes it feels like we're working towards an endless goal, fighting and training, and for what? Look at her, she has no idea what's in store for her. I'm glad she has a chance to be a filly before she has to take on the role of guardian horse. My mom used to be a soul rider and walked away. Elizabeth stayed in this world paid the ultimate price. If I leave, am I a coward? Never. There's more to life than the privileged world my parents kept me trapped in. But when I wanted to go out in the real world, I didn't think I'd end up here doing this. Oh, she's cusses. Twice, okay. Frippin', um, frippin' AD for putting us, oh, I can't say that word on here. Um, I, yeah, that's nice. They put cussing in the quest. Okay. I can't believe Frippin' AD put us in this impossible situation. I just want my best friend back. Uh, I'm really surprised, because they had cussing in quests before. They had the word, um, bad a, I'm not going to say the word, but they had that word in the quest, and they took it out. But then they put more cussing in. That's unique. Um, thanks for talking. Thanks for talking with me. We should join the others, not let me totally ruin today. <coughs> Lightning baked apples are quite tasty. Yeah, you should share the recipe, Alex. Nah, old family secret. Clavel never tells. Didn't you just sap an apple with the power of a lightning circle? That's not really a recipe. Shh. Zip it, sunshine. You never know who's listening. Zzz. Hello? It's Fripp. He's getting worse. You just have to come. Right now. Something's happening with Fripp. We have to get back to Veildale. Let's ride out at once. Oh, this is a race. Beautiful. Um, oh, they're winning. I can't let them win. I don't want to let them win. It's weird that everyone's on their soul horse except me and Anne. But, you know, I am not going to let myself ride a max horse when there's a horse XP being given out freely. Okay, yes, I'm in the lead now, even with my, my sad horse, who is level 5. But my outfit is mostly max stat. The only thing that isn't is these little um, shoes. Why are we headed here? I mean, this is a weird... Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, boy. Come on, Raven. Oh, my gosh, that's so terrible. Okay, here we are, uh, running around. Uh, I'm going to try to jump to get a lead on them because I'm really competitive. Yeah, this is what th this is what this race is. In case anyone you know you want to know the race route, this is what it is. Um, pretty simple route to Valdale. I'm glad that they're making it a race because otherwise I would just use the trailer and they aren't really giving out much shillings to make it worth like to make it you be able to pay for the trailer easily without taking it out of your own shillings that you already saved up because I never pay with the trailer. For star I never pay for the trailer with star coins unless I do it by accident because like I just you can't, I can't I can't do it like that oh they logged off I'll just leave then but yeah I never pay for the trailer with star coins because it's just so expensive to pay for the trailer with star coins it's only two star coins but if you do that like a lot of times it adds up if you just trick the trailer ten times that's twenty star coins or a new horse main style, or, you know, a, a, a new shirt or a new saddle pad, that's a lot of star coins to use for one, for just some trailer. Um, yeah, most of the shirts in this game are like 45 star coins, not 20, but you get the gist. Like, if it was a more affordable priced shirt, like more cheaply, a more, a more a not as expensive, we're getting new Ferris stuff next week. So I was going to craft more, like, tack and stuff with my flowers. I have a lot of flowers, but I'm not going to because we're getting more Ferris stuff, and I don't want to craft it and then, like, have less flowers because, yeah, we're getting more Ferris stuff. So I don't want to just do that like that. You know what I mean? And then we get to go through the secret stone circle. Blondie can't come to the secret stone circle, so I have to walk around the fire on foot. It doesn't have 
quite the same magical feeling, to say the least. Don't worry, Anne. Blondie and I can hang out while you're gone, walking around in circles to reach a, druid's, a secret druid circle. I stopped asking questions about what Alex does long ago. Yeah, Blondie can't go to the secret stone circle because she's not a soul horse. And Raven isn't a soul horse, but for some reason he can go. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> Honestly, I hope that they let all the horses go in the stone circle, though, because, like, I can't imagine what it would be like if you're only allowed to take your starter horse in the stone circle. That would be just so um, frustrating and, like, hard. So I'm glad that I'm allowed to bring Raven, but I think that we should let Anne bring her horse. I don't know. It's not like the horse can tell people what they saw or something. All right, and what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Um, um, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go to Fripp's room? Um, I guess we'll try that, because I don't know what else I would do. Okay, yeah, that was it. Looks like we all made it. I'm so nervous, but there's no escaping the truth. Let's hear what Avalon has to say. What's happening? How is he? He's fading. You can see right through him as if the world is rejecting his very existence. It's not fair. He gave his life so that you could find me, and I never even got to say goodbye. He's not gone yet, Anne. Hold on to hope. Hope doesn't solve anything. Lisa, heal him. You're the leader of the Star Circle, aren't you? Then prove it. I've tried. Don't you know that I've tried? It's all right, Lisa. Earth is beyond the reach of Aideen's light. Earth itself is rejecting him. Then we take him to Pandoria. It's where he's from, isn't it? Possible. Trip was ex exiled during the cataclysm that linked our worlds, so I could never join me during my training. His is a body out of time and space, completely unmoored from reality and unreality alike. So there's nothing we can do to help him? It would take a miracle. Why can't we catch a break? I feel the same, Kaylee, but we'll find a way. We have to. Okay. And then talk to Lisa. Or Linda. <laughs> I'm not giving up. There must be something in this room we are overlooking. Something that could help us restore Fripp to health. Okay. I mean, we can try. Could the answer be found in the Pandoria Codex? I've read it cover to cover countless times. All this book contains are rules of what we can't do. Nothing helpful at all. Okay, then. Not me trying to be helpful and Avalon shutting down my ideas. The five-leaf clover! What did you find, Kaylee? Oh, try to talk to her. The five-leaf clover we took from Idris. Of course. Of course, we've been so focused on druid magic, but there are other ways. A clover? What's so special about a clover? Pi the Witch used clovers like that one to make horses for the Dark Riders, right? Yes, and according to Idris, this particular clover is doubly potent, thanks to Kaylee. Do you think it could help rip Evergrey? I couldn't say. It's more powerful than witchcraft than I have mastered. But for Yorvik's witches, a talisman like that is capable of working powerful transformations. Transformations. Then I say it's worth a shot. But who would know how to use its power? Any ideas, Kaylee? Idris. Oh, my phone's ringing. Ugh. We could trust him. We, you would trust him after he turned you into a horse? You could have stayed in that form forever. Let us pray to Aideen. We never need involve him again. Um, we could ask Pi. Pi? Absolutely not. To aid Dark Core is out of, is out of the question. Pi and Fripp have history. Suffice it to say she's not trustworthy. Miss Holdsworth, then. Miss Holdsworth? Yes, Elizabeth trusted her. Loath as I am to consort with witches on such a delicate matter, I do not object with speaking to her. Such mag... Niam... Such mag... Na, such mag... Imity. I don't know that word. I trust you'll show dear Mrs. Holdsworth more courtesy when she arrives. Wait, a witch here in this most sacred sanctum? Dear, oh dear. Little brother, your anxiety around witches would be endearing if it wasn't grounded baseless, in baseless intolerance. Then it's settled. Kaylee and I will ask Mrs. Holdsworth to come. Since we're headed back to Moorland, I'll come and give Maya a ride home. Aideen, be with you. I hope Mrs. Holdsworth can help. She's our last hope to save Rip. Let's ask Mrs. Holdsworth about the five-leaf clover. So we gotta go to, um, I'm guessing her house, because I don't think she'd just be raiding around for us. Yeah, yeah, Moreland. Okay. 
Yeah, so we're gonna go to Moreland. I'm sorry if my phone ringing is like extra loud, but oh, the Grey Arabian. That's one of the cutest ones, and I like this outfit that this person has. But now we have to find the trailer. I see it over there, so yeah, it's a nice little shortcut. I always thought this weird hay area was very different and <laughs> weird how it's positioned. Oh, the Isla. I love the Isla. I used to pronounce it as Ayla, but it's Isla. I wish I would have been around to get it. I would have gotten that one and the Umbra and the Isla um, Fox, but I wouldn't have gotten the Umbra cat because I don't really like the cats. The only cat in this game that I have is the, oh, they got the Halloween. The only cat I have from the game is the, oh, don't want to run to the fence. The only cat I have is the Scraps trash cat because I don't want to pay for the cat. But, um, yeah, that's a thing. You're on right on time, dearies. I've already packed. You knew we were, oh, packed? Yeah, see that, because I don't know what that's about. Trinkets and baubles for the ritual head. I've been preparing for years today. If you knew you could help, then why didn't you come to us? We're almost out of time. We might even be too late. Theories, I'm never late. I, it's the other one I'd be worried about if I were you. Other one. Convincing him of the urgency won't be easy. He's not a fan of Fox. Oh, no. Not him. Who? Idris, we need a wish's expertise, not some charlatan's shenanigans. Can you at least tell us why we need Idris? A miracle like this requires a very special circle. Trust me, your little friend's fate depends on it. Bringing the witch into the secret stone circle is one thing, but Idris, Avalon's not going to be happy. He'll get over it. Avalon's a, to Avalon's a total pushover. He is. Rude, but true. In that case, Alex, you should take Mrs. Holdsworth. Get back to Veldale while Kaylee and I take a trip back to the circus. Hop on then, Mrs. H. That's very kind of you, dear. My bees and I know the way. <laughs> my bees and I. You can take my bag. Ho ho. Beautiful. Now let me get this trash. Oh, more trash. I have to collect trash. Okay. Well, at least she has a good heart. Imagine if we had gone to pie. She'd probably have turned one of us into a bug. I guess it's back to the circus. Here's hoping Idris has forgiven you since the last time we paid him a visit. Forgiven me? He turned me into a horse. Oh, but yeah, he needs to forgive me. Wow. Okay. He turned me into a golden Lusitano and made me race for my life against Loretta and... Z. And then he's hit, and then, oh, I hope he's forgiven you. Ma'am, what did I do? Ah, okay, this is crazy, but I'm actually enjoying it here. It's actually kind of fun. I don't know how long this video is going to get, but probably um, longer than I thought because I, <laughs> I messed up several times on that Apple thing. I'm happy that we're involving Idris again, though. He's one of my favorite characters because he has an interesting past that I would like to know more about. Like, we know he's from Pandoria, but why did he leave, you know? What about his family? What happened to them? Like, I want to know. But we don't know yet. Hopefully this might tell us a bit. At least we'll get to, you know, have a little bit of a quest with him. That's fun. Taking shortcuts here. Oh, wow, shortcut. Well, well, what, well, well, what have we here? Back for an encore? We have a problem, and time is not on our side. If it's time you're looking for, I have none to spare. Nasty stuff, time. It's your wisdom we seek. My wisdom? Oh yes, ma chérie. Can I not interest you in something more amusing? Wisdom was such a bore. But since you came all this way. Leave this to me. I think I can cut through his Pandorian charms. We don't have much time. We need to convince Idris to help us, and fast. <sighs> Humans, I don't know why you obsess about time so much. No matter how much of it you have, you're always in a hurry. What is it you want this time? Another horse? Z is not for sale. We need your help. Our dear friend from Pandoria, a creature called Rip. He's fading from our world and we're out of, all out of options. We need your abilities as a fellow Pandorian to bring him back. Let us take this somewhere more private. I am well aware of the one called Rip. If the rodent, if the rodent's sick, then you should find someone else to help him. I want a circus, little dove, so I'm not a veterinarian. Without Rip to guide us, the Earth is in danger. We need him to understand how to restore balance between the two worlds. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear in our last encounter. It's curtains for your earth. Why, should, why would I get involved to save it? There are other worlds I can take my show to. You don't mean that. If you don't care for Yorvik, why have you stayed here for such a long time? There you go again, talking about time. Have you not learned I care not for humans' obsession with time? Come on, Kaylee. This, the lamest showman doesn't have any real power. He's all smoke and mirrors. We don't need him. Let's go. 
smoke and mirrors. Listen to yourself, flitting back and forth with your words. First you need me, then you don't. You're like a spiteful little butterfly. Aha, that gives me an idea. You want to be star of the show, so you shall be. Voila. Neither of you are leaving until you've learned your lesson, little doves. Quickly, Kaylee, leap and spin together. All the butterflies collect enough, and she should be back to her glittery, fluttery self. Oh no, what's he doing? <laughs> oh wow! He really turned her into a butterfly. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. This is crazy. He really turned my friend into a butterfly. No. No, Idris. <laughs> just when I was here defending him, saying he's good and stuff like that. How he just has a sad backstory, probably, or something. And then he goes and turns people into a butterfly. Many butterflies. Wow, that definitely proves my point, right? Wow. Oh my gosh. Why is this so hard? These aren't very difficult butterflies to catch. You gotta go exactly on them. Exactly on them. Otherwise, it doesn't let you catch them. It takes so long to catch them. Help, help. Yeah, we got like almost 150 horse XP in this now, though. So, glad that I didn't use Storm, because that would have been a waste of horse XP. For sure. Yeah, just gonna do all this. Oh wow, it even went out of the circus. That makes sense. Tell me to catch butterflies and then make them leave the circus. Very practical. Um, beautiful, okay. I have five butterflies left to catch. Let's hope I can get this one, yeah. The trot of the Pentavians is so nice though. Well, not just the Pentavians, but the Gen 2 Arabians. Like their trot is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I only need two more. Please, please help me. I only need one more. Come on, come on. Ah, I'm so close. No, it's leaving. Okay. Nice, I got it. Now all the butterflies and Linda is back. I can't believe you had turned her into butterflies. Shudder, thanks, Kaylee. That felt oh, it's not every day you're turned into a cloud of butterflies. Wow, it just is so mean. This clearly isn't working. We need to try something else. What other options do we have? Idris doesn't listen to anyone, not even himself. I totally thought the reverse psychology trick would work. Maybe he really doesn't care about Earth. Maybe Idris can't be persuaded to help. Great idea. There has to be someone Idris cares about besides himself, right? Count us in. You'll help us save our friend? Oh, thank you. No, but Idris owes us one. We don't exactly want to see Orphan go up in flames either. We're doing this purely for selfish reasons. Don't get it twisted. Z nods in agreement. Whatever help you can give, we'll take it. Are you guys friends of Rip or something? No, more questions. We'll deal with the gangly guy. Psst, Kaylee, there's no way I'm missing out on this. Hearing interest getting berated? Let's listen in. A little while later. What? No, there's absolutely no way you can convince me. Come on, you wouldn't do that to little old me. Think of all we've been through. Fine, I uh, apologize. I shall agree to help you or regions with their many old problems. What are you doing, dawdling beside the tent door? Don't just stand there like barnacles. Your little blue friend needs help, does he not? And I alone can save him. What made you change your mind? A moment ago, you were complaining about us coming to you for help. A moment? A year? You humans have such a fascination with measuring time. Admit it. For all your bluster, you like a year. I do not. Your work is unrepentantly dreadful. He's saving face. Let him be. Zee presses a laugh. We should get a move on soon. It's in circle. Avalon's going to flip, but we don't have any other choice. See, Zin, be good while I'm gone. Try not to miss me too much. The show must go on. We did it. We actually managed to convince Idris to help us with a little help, of course. And then I'm, we have to get out of the tent and go. And here we are. Let's head back to the secret stone circle. I can't wait to see Avalon's reaction to Idris joining us. He'll probably combust on the spot. Yes, let's go see. Um, I'm not running to Vail Vail. Yeah, it's way too. So let's just. Trailer. 
because it's just it's too far to run. No one can run that far. It's just too hard. Sorry if you hear my family yelling. They're like fighting, I guess, right now. Yep, just gotta run back. And this quest is actually kind of good, you know. I wish I had added more character XP, but it's interestingly written, and we're getting to see characters that we haven't get, gotten to see in a long time. Well, last time that um, we got to see Idris was Halloween. So, well, we got to see him at the New Year's thing, too, but it wasn't really a quest with him. So, we, we love that, you know, nice. Um, why am I not allowed in? Help? Can you please let me go in? Okay, maybe I didn't like, do it all the way, I guess. Yeah, I'm guessing that that is the reason. Yeah, there we go. Okay, got it. Time and space merge. Everything is calm, always in motion. That always pops up. They've got that. And then loading. And here we are, and we have to go to Grip's room. And Star Shine's here. I always love this saddle pad that he had. I always wanted to buy it, but it's actually from the spirit shop. So, um, yeah, you can't get it anymore. But I was here way after Spirit left. An unwelcome Pandorian troublemaker in this sacred place. Words do not even begin to express my horror. So this is Idris. I've been itching to meet this impish showman ever since I returned from exile. A Pandorian. Living among humans. Amazing indeed. There's something familiar about you. The clownish veneer is new, but those eyes, I've seen them before. We've met, haven't we, on the other side. And just whose idea was it to bring this creature to our domain? Hmm? Don't be fooled by his huckster charms. He does not think or feel as we do. He is an alien. He is as alien to us as Garnock himself. Madness. It was my idea to invite Idris here, not theirs, dearie. And for good reason, Idris can help us save Grip. Yes, the witch is right. I can help if I want to. How are you, Mrs. H? Still making those delicious pies? I request that you make a rhubarb one for my dear Z with a hint of collaborators for myself. I'm the last person to say this, but food isn't important right now. Alex is right. We need to put our heads together and think of how we're going to bring Grip back. So why does Idris need to be here? Oh, I actually didn't skip that. Your little friend here isn't sick. Spirit is lost in the infinite. Earth magic won't save Grip, neither will Pandorian magic. Of course, Mrs. H, you are a genius, always thinking one step ahead, aren't you? Is anyone else not quite following this? Ah, I had a feeling this is why you were calling me here. My knowledge of my home world is needed in such an occasion, no? Bringing together the most powerful means of casting magic. The miracles of Pandoria, the gumption of a witch, and the rustic charms of a soul rider. Like a, like a magical parfait, how poetic. This confirms the theory I formed while journeying through Pandoria. Through triangulating the different aspects of magic, it's, it's possible to navigate beyond the limits of known existence. The connection of the three power holders means they act as a beacon, bright enough to be seen throughout the infinite folds of space and time. In simpler terms, the three of us can use our respective magical abilities to call to Fripp in the limbo he drifts in. Then the power of the five-leaf clover can compel him back to his body. But wait, who are the three people holding these powers? Idris, for one, but who else? That'd be Idris, me, and Kaylee. Has anyone asked Kaylee how, how they feel about this? Aideen? Pa, she's the reason our worlds are in this mess. I would suggest calling on their powers. Wait, what about Anne? Who got your reins all tangled up? Has anyone noticed the five blue clover is missing and Anne is gone? That is bad news. Ah, so she actually did it. Well, why else do you think I asked Linda and Kaylee to call in just for help, hmm? Who knew this would happen? But Mrs. Holdsworth, couldn't you have warned us? We could have stopped Anne before she did something so reckless. We can't stop what needs to happen, only look for other solutions, which we must do now. But if this process of magical triangulation can contact Rip, then isn't it enough to bring him home? If only it were that easy. Our little corner of existence is just a speck in the cosmos. Even if he sees his home, the pull of the infinite is too great for him to escape. The Clover could have pulled him back, but that path is closed. We must find another. This is a long quest. But there must be another way. There has to be. We have to think of another way. Any other way. I won't let this little guy go. Come close, dear. He's have a story to tell. Fairy tale. Um, Mrs. H, read the room. This isn't really time for fairy tales. Also, we're not five years old. This is a story you'll want to hear. It comes from the Lost Book of Legends, from the Forbidden Stacks in the archives of Fort Maria. The abandoned Fort Maria? But nobody's been in there since Mississippi Jones' time. I'd do anything to get a hold of the books in there. Nobody's been in there that they know of. I did well to go undetected. 
now there was this book I found. I might just have the answers we're looking for. Tell us, I can't bear the anticipation. How did it begin? Ah, yes, ahead. Long before, before time, long ago, before time itself, a catastrophic event shattered the boundary between two worlds. An ethereal being came down from the skies and placed her hand on the earth, healing the wounds. The legend of Aideen. Sorry, Mrs. H, but we've heard the story a hundred times before. Avalon has drilled it into our brains. I suppose that's what the druids call it, but they don't mention it's the one who went unnoticed. In the middle of the calamity was a small creature they carried with them. An object, an object of great importance, a box. This box took the form of whatever the beholder wished. It was said to contain weapons like really cool swords, knowledge, hope. The box contained Pedoria's hope. As the creature was tossed between worlds, they were torn apart from this treasured object. Alone and lost in a strange new land, the creature knew they had to find a way to set things right, to bring back a balance and save the two worlds from destruction. First, they had to find Pandorian's hope. But of course, that's just a story. The druids have their version of events. We bitches have ours. And the Pandorians have another. You should all decide for yourself what this really means. This is preposterous. No one in the book is forbidden. It's full of lies. We all agree that the keeper of Aideen's version of events is the true story, you know? We have stories of this box in my world, too. You were right to call it a fairy tale. It's interesting to hear another perspective. It was so long ago. Who knows what really happened? This changes everything. If Rip really came to Yorvik with Pandoria's hope, reuniting him with it could restore him to full health. But where do we even find such a thing? Yorvik is full of daring explorers and dashing adventures. There's no doubt we can put our heads together and find someone to help. You could help us find this. Who could help us find this Pandoria's hope? Yes, that's it. Nick Stoneground has explored Yorvik far and wide. He might be able to help us find this mysterious object. Stoneground, huh? Not a bad idea, but I've always wanted to know what's rattling inside that old fridge. Could it be Pandoria's soap or just a sandwich? Fascinating stuff. This calls for a trip to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. That is it for right now, guys. Um, I'm going to make a part two of this, but I don't want this to get too long. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!